Assalamu alaikum level and students this is your teacher Fayaz Ahmed and today is the first lecture of physics and today is your introductory class and in today's class we will be taking the introduction of physics that what is physics and why the physics is very important in our daily life so uh, we will uh, begin with by wasting no time and the first topic is basically the what is physics so what is the definition of physics or how do we explain uh, how do we define the physics physics is basically the branch of science like the other branches mathematics biology zoology botany physics is also a branch of science and it especially deals with the interaction between matter and energy now what is the interaction and what is matter and what is energy uh, most of you are already aware of it but let me uh, reiterate that matter is a mass which uh, anything which has a mass and which occupies space while uh, you know that what is energy energy is the ability to do work so the interaction or relation between the, these two quantities uh, these two things is basically known as physics or we study the interaction in the field of physics so what is interaction uh, actually uh, so actually it is uh, uh, effect of energy on mass so what are the different types of energy and what are the different types of masses like there is kinetic energy potential energy Similarly, there is uh, gravitational energy, elastic energy, electrical energy, and there are other types of energy as well. So, uh, similarly, there are different types of masses like solids, liquids, gases. In solids, we have large objects. We have uh, uh, we have just small objects, small particles as well, granular particles, or even micro and nanoparticles such as electron, proton, and neutron. So, we will be dealing uh, with the interaction uh, by focusing the effects of energy on mass so you know what is the different type of energy and what are the different type of masses the effects of energy or mass is basically one type of the interaction secondly the interconversion of mass energy and energy now what is the interconversion which means that what how the mass can be converted into energy or how the energy can be converted back into mass uh, we also study this in the interaction similarly the different physical quantities which are related or associated to uh, the mass and energy so different physical quantities like what is the uh, volume of the mass what is the length of mass what is the height of mass what is the density of mass what is the viscosity and what is the temperature these all are the physical quantities entities which are associated with the mass and similarly energy that uh, what amount of energy is if a particular body is at rest what is the uh, amount of energy is when the body is moving what is the amount of energy when it is at some sort of height so the energy of the particles and energy possessed by the particles is quite uh, known as the interaction of matter and energy so why is physics very much important what is the importance of physics the importance of physics can easily be judged by the different uh, vehicles instruments and devices equipments by judging these all things by observing these all things that how these things work and how these things were made at some instant so the main thing is that there were some uh, physicists which were involved in the manufacturing of all these basically first of all the physicists gave their ideas uh, whatever those ideas they are just reshaped in the form of theories and laws and those laws are followed and instant uh, and interesting developments are made by using those laws the industrialists those people which having lots of money they use those ideas to make these devices uh, and these devices are uh, for sure they uh, they have made our life very easy and comfortable and very fast as well so uh, if we talk about the vehicles which have made our life very easy and fast uh, 
दीज इंक्लूड्स कार मोटर बाइक्स एरोप्लेन एंड ट्रेन एंड अदर व्हीकल्स एज वेल दीज ऑल वर मेड एंड दे वर पॉसिबल टू मेड ड्यू टू द ड्यू टू द डिफरेंट लॉज ऑफ फिजिक्स सिमिलरली द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लाइक थर्मोमीटर माइक्रोस्कोप एंड टेलीस्कोप दीज वर ऑल्सो मेड ड्यू टू द फिजिकल लॉज सिमिलरली इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लाइक एंड डिवाइसेस लाइक कंप्यूटर सेल्युलर फोन्स लैपटॉप स्मार्ट वॉच एंड माइक्रोवेव ओवन एंड मैनी अदर डिवाइस Uh, many other devices uh, these are also made with the help of physics and by following its rules and laws similarly there are uh, there is a long list of equipments which have uh, the modern world have made uh, some of the equipments are satellite radar laser and x-ray machines so basically uh, uh, these all were made possible due to the physics and its laws uh, essentially there are three uh, eras of physics we will discuss it uh, in detail in the physical classes that there was muslim period there was one classical period then there was one modern physics era so basically uh, uh, this is the importance of physics and the physicists have contributed over the centuries so in the last we will discuss the different branches of physics that how the different uh, how the physics is divided into different branches to study the various aspect of physics so first branch is basically known as mechanics now what is the mechanics it is it deals with the motion of the object with or without reference of force for example if force is applied on any body what will happen to the body we study this Uh, with the help of mechanics and all the uh, mechanical engineering uh, is based on this field of physics now the second is basically is the electricity now it deals with the phenomena and effects related to electric charges that what will happen if the electric charge is at rest what type of field it will produce and what will happen when the electric charge will move to a particular time period to a particular distance what will happen what will be the uh, force between the two charges to same charges to opposite charges so basically we study all this in the electricity and all the electrical engineering and all the electrical devices and instruments are the fruit of this branch of physics which is known as electricity now the third branch is basically known as electromagnetism it basically deals with the laws and principles related to electricity and magnetism so uh, it essentially deals that what will happen if electric electricity is converted to produce the mag uh, magnetism and uh, how with the help of magnetism magnetism we can just produce the electricity so the interconversion of the electricity and magnetism is basically started in the electromagnetism and electric motor and motor uh, wherever it is used whether it is used in your water pumps or whether the motor is used in the fans or wherever in or in the washing machines or in the juicer blender so all the study of motor and the principle and laws of electricity and magnetism is de uh, deal with the uh, is concerned with the electromagnetism now the fourth branch of physics is basically known as solid state physics now what is this it concerned with the uh, structure and properties of solid materials now there are many solid materials some are less uh, hard some are more hard so uh, how uh the material can be a ductile or how can it be a malleable malleable can we just produce a sheet or can we produce the wire or can we break the uh, particular solid material and what is essentially the structure of it it is hexagonal it is tetragonal or how the molecules are attached the atoms are attached in it what is the crystal lattice we study all this in the solid state physics next branch of physics is basically the atomic physics the fifth branch it is also very important branch because it deals with the uh, very small and micro or you can say essentially a nano particle such as atom 
so we deals it deals with the structure and properties of atom then what is the structure where what, uh, what are the subatomic particles electron proton and neutron where are these uh, electron proton neutron are uh, located inside the atom and wha what is their uh, properties of the subatomic particles we study this all in the uh, atomic physics next is the nuclear physics and in the nuclear physics uh, it deals with the structure properties and the reactions of the nuclei of an atom so what is the structure of the nucleus that nucleus essentially composed of protons and neutrons protons have positive charge on it neutron has no charge on it and how they are combined together there are some internuclear forces what will happen if the number of protons and neutron exceeds to a particular limit uh, will the atomic nuclei become unstable what is the radioactivity we discuss all this in the nuclear physics and uh, you know the nuclear bomb or atomic bomb the nuclear bomb and atomic bomb are the result of these two branches of physics those who are expert in making atomic bombs they are the pioneers of these two branches atomic physics and nuclear physics now the next a branch is basically known as plasma physics it deals with the properties of highly ionized atoms and the highly ionized atoms are just composed of bare nuclei for example the nuclei without electron so the atom in which just a nucleus is present an electron is somehow removed due to the application of high amount of energy so we study all the uh, study uh, of this plasma in plasma physics so plasma is essentially a thing which is uh, consist which consists of the highly ionized atom so next branch is basically biophysics it's concerned with the application of physics in the biology or in the medical field so wherever uh, we can use different ultrasound machines x-ray machines and ct scan and mri machines and how the different medical surgeries take place so all uh, the technology that is just uh, transform the medical world is just due to the this branch of physics which is the biophysics now the last branch of physics is known as the astrophysics uh, astrophysics is basically deals with the physics of astronomical uh, bodies or astronomical bodies hey i have written uh, i have done one mistake it is astronomical bodies so uh, basically the astrophysics deals with the study of physics of astronomical bodies so what are the astronomical bodies the bodies such as different planets different galaxies different stars meteors comets asteroids these all are astronomical bodies the study of their motion whether it is going uh, towards or it is going forward or backward what is the motion what it is emitting what the light it is how, is there life on it or not so we study all this uh, in the astrophysics so uh, this is all about uh, the uh, physics there are a few other branches of physics as well but uh, up to your level just these nine branches are there so it is uh, important to know that what are the definition of these uh, branches of physics so, so this is it for today and thank you very much and allow us